Time and time again, anti-LGBTQ plus groups and media outlets have told people that they are standing up for biblical truth. And yet, a striking omission from their articles is, well, truth. Truth is a Christian norm. And yet, personally, I've had lies spread about me on a number of occasions, as have many other LGBTQ plus Christians. But it's some of the bigger, widespread twistings of truth that are really frustrating me. It is repeatedly reported that LGBTQ plus advocates are fighting against Christians when the advocates referred to are in fact Christians ourselves. It's frequently stated that said advocates target churches solely for speaking out against same-sex marriage. We don't. We ask people not to give resources to churches that support or offer so-called conversion therapy, which is abusive and condemned by every major psychiatric body. The claim is repeatedly made that we are against prayer, when most anti-conversion therapy advocates spend much of our time praying with people who have been hurt by this so-called therapy. We are for prayer, but we also understand that there is a nuance and careful consideration is necessary where the lines between prayer and spiritual abuse blur. The appeal to free speech and freedom of religion is often particularly problematic. No LGBTQ plus advocate is campaigning for an end to free speech. We want free speech, we need free speech. But free speech doesn't mean that there aren't consequences to what you say nor does it include the freedom to abuse another human being. It never has. You're free to practice your own faith and to speak about it. You are not free to do so without allowing others to respond. You're not free to abuse people and you're not free to compel others to live according to your beliefs. The law is very clear about this. The common defense is the biblical understanding, but this is belied by the fact that there is not one unified biblical understanding of LGBTQ plus identities. The idea that all Christians think the same thing and interpret the Bible in the same way or else ignore it is yet another lie, and it fuels negativity towards Christianity. If you truly want to defend or spread Christianity, tell the truth about its diversity and its values based on grace, truth, love and justice. Dialogue relies on truth. So until the lies stop, it's really hard to even consider dialogue, never mind unity. It's time to stop the lies. It's time to speak truth to power in love. God loves all people. That is the truth. Speak it.